Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Let's have a look on the Bitcoin price because finally we had this push to $10,000 and guess what? We closed now the CME future gap up to $10,000. So here on the CME chart we came up to $10,080. So the gap officially is closed right now. And now we have to see what is coming next because if we're gonna top out here so if we're not building up a support where we are right now so here at around nine thousand five hundred dollar I think this could be very bearish for the next couple of days at least for the long term we are still very bullish but at least for the short term we could be in here for a major dump because if we're gonna lose here this nine thousand five hundred and we're gonna just close this gap here and create a double top formation here which all these coins are with the top that we had at 10,500 in the past this could be very bearish here so we should be prepared for a big dump even though everyone is calling now for the beginning of the huge bull run which is possible but I still think there could be a first initial big dump before a real sustainable bull run also if you look at the stock market today is another big red day so we don't have yet the confirmation that the crypto space that bitcoin is completely decoupling from the stock market there are some initial signs but as you know everything is possible and it can change from one second to the other and also if you go to the smaller time frames here on the cme chart you can see that we have another small tiny gap down here at 7620 so we also could go down to potentially fill this gap as well before we are starting this huge run to the upside that everyone is waiting for plus we are very overbought right now because of this push that we had from the bottom here of 8200 up to ten thousand dollar especially in the short time frames we can have a look now so the big question is now are we building up a support here at around nine thousand four hundred to nine thousand five hundred dollar or are we gonna crash here to the downside from this pattern that we are in right now so this morning we had this push here towards uh, the resistance here on the um, Bitstamp chart. We came to 9,940. We were overbought in the stochastic and RSI. Also, if you look at the Bollinger Band, we overshooted it to the upside. MACD still shifted to the upside. Very bullish here. But as you can see, we topped out already and we're seeing already a correction down. And now is the question if you are building up here a support, especially at the 20 moving average, where also the main support is lining up here at around 9,300. 50 if we're gonna lose that then prepare to go at least again towards this eight thousand two hundred dollar in case that we lose here this nine thousand four hundred dollar support and if we go over to the four hour time frame you can see that also here currently we are trading above the 20 and 50 moving average but in case that we come down here to test again one of these two moving average especially at the 20 at 9140 make sure to be ready to open shorts or take profits in case that we're gonna close again below the 20 moving average in the four hour because there we could see the beginning of a bigger correction to the downside even towards six thousand especially if the stock market also is continuing to plunge like it's doing uh, in the last couple of days in the four hour also we are overbought in stochastic and RSI and in the Bollinger Band we are currently also overshooting it to the upside quite heavy so retracement back down here towards $9,000 is very likely we could even drop down here towards $8,400 based here on the Bollinger Band and MACD still shifted to the upside so currently we could see some more pushes towards 10 k in the one hour and four hour the MACD is still looking good but Bollinger Band is overshooting it to the upside and also we are overbought in RSI and stochastic so a cool down now is very likely the only question is are we building up a support or not and if we go over to the daily here also it looks still bullish because we're trading above the 20 daily moving average so far the 200 hold as a support even though we wick twice down to this uh, moving average RSI is coming uh, very soon to overbought territory is not yet in overbought condition and stochastic just had the bullish cross here which should also indicate that we have still a lot of few left to the upside and if we go over to the Bollinger Band also here you can see that we didn't overshoot it now to the upside so we just came here to the top so also here in theory we still have some room left to the upside MACD could have a bullish cross this is what we're gonna have to see and if we go over to the weekly time frame here also it's still looking very bullish because the RSI is just starting to trade above the 50 stochastic is coming in overbought territory but the RSI 
RSI, in my opinion, is still looking very good and we're still trading above the 20 and 50 moving average in the weekly. And even if you have a look here on the Bollinger Band, you see that we didn't even touch it at top of $10,800 and we had here also a bullish cross in the MACD. So for the long term, it still looks very, very bullish, my friends, but we could be in here for a bigger correction to the downside, even down here to the 0.618 FIB line of 6,200. So as I told you also in some other videos, guys, in case that you have no fiat on the sideline, you should be ready for all scenarios. So in case that we're going to top out here and retrace back down to 6,200 before we're seeing another big leg up and a potential breakout from this uh, big pattern that we are in right now to potentially new all time highs, you should be also ready to buy back in if we are coming back down to this region at around 6,000 in case that we are not seeing this huge bull run right now. But on the other side, of course, you also should be ready in case that we are really starting to break out from this main resistance here of 10,500 to the upside and start a huge big bull run. Of course, you don't want to FOMO in later and also don't want to miss out the train. So that's why never sell everything or never buy all in. Always make sure that you're ready to handle all scenarios because you really don't know what will happen. But so far it's still looking bullish even though I'm still expecting to reach again prices towards 6k if the stock market is not recovering pretty soon and if you're really getting rejected here at these important price points up here. But anyway if you want to trade this and if you want to go long or short you can do that over on Bybit or Femex for example those two exchanges are the exchanges that i am using here you can trade bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage and if you still need an account you can use my invitation links that you find down below here in the video description because with my links you can get some sign up bonuses and also some rewards if you use my links so go down and check them out there is also a link for prime xpt and btr also on those two exchanges you can get some sign up bonuses and please also make sure to join our our free disco trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and also please make sure to join the twitch channel there I'm doing the live streams when something crazy is going on with the price so with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to my $10 Bitcoin giveaway that we do with every hundred subscribers so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye